Hey there, Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for June 20th through the 26th, 2022. An absolutely special day in my house. It is my husband's birthday. Uh, so big happy birthday out to him. I am so blessed to have him in my life. Um, yeah, so blessed. Okay. Let's do the reading for the week. I am using that Angel Wisdom Tarot deck by Radley Valentine. It was my new deck. We used it for card of the day last week, and I knew that this is what we would use for uh, this week's reading. I was not surprised when that's what I was drawn to. And of course, we're going to draw three cards for the energy of this coming week. Um, last week was an interesting one. It, there was definitely a bunch of stuff that came to head last week that needed to be dealt with um, and to move forward from. So let's see what the cards have to say for this week. Hopefully it's a little better. <laughs> Card number one is um, the Knight of water. Romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in relationships, situations or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art and poetry. Um, it's so funny. It, we have the chalice in here, but we have the waterfall, that running water, which is so cleansing, a beautiful white horse and running, uh, galloping way. It feels like this week that our heart just flutters a little bit more, that We've kind of gotten over that bad part. Now, I am not going to say that's everybody. Most people have. If you haven't dealt with what has been coming up, it's going to just feel heavier this week because the universe really needs you to deal with it. If you've been dealing with it, there's going to be a bit more of a lightness this week. This relief of things that have been dealt with, that you've done, that have helped you to make those steps forward, that have just kind of lightened the load. They're also bringing this awareness around love and they're saying that it's just about more love this week. It's not about specific love. The big one that they're saying is kind of like the raise the vibration is doing the things that make that you love that make your heart flutter that you know, are you have passion for. So maybe it's something creative that you do. Maybe it's cooking or baking. Maybe it's running or some kind of sports, whatever it is that really just raises your vibration. It's important to indulge in those things this week. Even if it means having a piece of chocolate, just because that makes you feel better, like have a little nibble. Um, you know, everything's good in moderation, right? But it just feels like this piece of raising our vibration this week, bringing ourselves back into this place of lightness and really embracing that energy to move forward, giving thanks for the lessons and really allowing ourselves to just kind of process and assimilate this week. Card number two is um, scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous, time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships, a new area of study. Um, and we've got our little bunny there. This earth card... <sighs> They're first saying it's about getting grounded. And I know I just told you to get light and to raise your vibration, but there's this energy of getting grounded and getting down to work. Getting grounded doesn't mean not being connected to the divine. Getting grounded means getting connected to Mother Earth. So we have this energetic pull that keeps us balanced. If we don't have that earthly connection, that divine connection can make us a little airy fairy and kind of out to lunch. Right now, the universe is saying it's time to get down to work. There are things that need to be done and accomplished to be able to move forward. For some of us, that is soul work. For others of us, that's education or learning. But there is this comprehension piece, this fully understanding within our body. And for some people, it will simply be sitting in meditation to allow ourselves to really assimilate the lessons that have been given to us and that we are channeling even divinely. But this week is a huge week of kind of getting down to it. If you've had a major life shift, maybe there are parts of that that you have to deal with and there's writing and work that has to be done for that. It just feels like taking the time to kind of get to work. It's interesting today on my face or social media, I can't remember. It wasn't Facebook, I don't think, but this um, video popped up and it was those that want to succeed, those that are pushing forward, choose education over entertainment. And I was like, ooh, that's interesting. Like, instead of watching a show, do you pick up a book? Like, 
where is that peace? Well, this week they're saying it's time to put, you know, turn off the TV, pick up the book, or pick up whatever work it is that you need to do to kind of move forward. Really important this week in that grounded, connected energy where intuition lies. Because that's what, that's, um, this grounded piece is that part of like connecting to our intuition to, to guide us through whatever it is that we need to do, to show us which path to take, to which work needs to be focused on, that sort of thing. Card number three is a Major Arcana card. So this is a Tarot deck, so Major Arcana, Minor Arcana. Minor Arcana are like the suits. This one is um, the elements. And then the major arcana are major life changes. So this is a major life change card, which is significant in a three card spread because there are not as many of these as there are the other cards. So this awakening card has somebody on their head, uh, a temporary pause for reflection and insight an awakening where you see things in a whole new light, embrace your own uniqueness, charitable actions. I love this upside down person and even the fact that it's things like a key and a feather and uh, <laughs> it's another deck of his tarot cards falling out of the pouch that this person is wearing. Um, I'm assuming it's kind of a talisman around the neck. Um, but it's those sign symbols and messages from the universe. It is this <sighs> etheric slap upside the head to pay attention. Again, there's been a lot that's been happening over these last few weeks, and this second card has already spoken to this piece of education. This third card is awakening, is this awareness of our intuition, awareness of our connection to the divine. So we're finding that balance between our earthly connection and our divine connection. It is here in this place where we get quiet enough to listen that we will find the answers that we are looking for. That the soul whispers to us all the time and it tells us exactly what we need because it's that direct line to our higher self and to the, the, the universe and all that beautifulness up there. When we are quiet and when we can let go of that negative chatter in our mind and when we can let go of that questioning of what's happening and trying to figure it out and instead just get into that place that's really quiet and connected, the universe has all the answers for you. This week in particular, these answers are important to the flow of your week. If you're not listening, ah, you might have some bumps on the road. If you are listening, things will be much smoother. If you are looking for some place to move, a shift, listening because the universe is directing you in the right direction. If you are trying to make a career change or even get a promotion at work, be quiet and listen. There are people telling you the answers that you need to hear right now. If you are just trying to find yourself, be quiet and allow your soul to speak. This week is one, again, of an energy that is kind of, kind of jumbled, but it feels kind of fast paced, but it feels like there's a bit of confusion if you're not taking the time to connect. So making sure over the course of this week, you are finding the time to connect body and soul, connecting earth and heavens, to quiet the mind, to quiet the body, to allow the soul to speak. And when you allow the soul to speak, you will hear the things that you need to hear to push yourself forward, to let go of the blocks, to hear the path, to know the work. The universe wants to give you all the answers. The universe has your back. You just have to choose to hear them because sometimes we don't want to hear it. Sometimes it's easier just to stay where we are, stuck in the mud, but the reality is it's just more painful in the long run. So I hope that you can take the time this week to be quiet and listen. Listen to what it is that you have been denying, to listen to the things, the messages the universe has been trying to share with you because the universe has your back. The universe wants you to move forward in joy and happiness and abundance and all that good stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you 
Thank you for being here on my spiritual journey and allowing me to be your spiritual tour guide. Thank you to those who joined me in the Divine Map membership. I am so excited that you are there. Doors are now closed for enrollment, but they will open again probably around my birthday, the beginning of August. Um, to enroll again and to learn and grow with me in the Divine Map membership, uh, to find community and connection and to enjoy your spiritual journey with a mentor on your side. Um, yeah. Please, 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 uh, your energetic thanks is wonderful by sharing this, tagging someone that needs to hear it, post it in your stories. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. It really helps to get the messages out there and to be seen. Um, thank you for that. From my heart and soul to yours, have an amazing week.